Over 58,000 women died from pregnancy-related complications, including excessive bleeding, hypertension of pregnancy, infections, and obstructed labor. In view of the statistics, the government at all levels have been charged to put an end to worrisome trend. Rising from the 54th AGM and Scientific Conference of the Society of Gynecology and Obstetrics of Nigeria, organizers advocate strengthening of women's health, especially in the COVID-19 era. The group also reiterates commitment to contributing to the acceleration of effort to end preventable maternal, newborn and child death advocacy, as well as the strengthening of accountability mechanisms into enhancing development of Nigeria. To rob minds, we've done a lot of treatment, a lot of research. We've come together and rob minds and learn and uh, refreshing our memories and refreshing our knowledge and it's also a continued medical education platform for us at the end of the day because uh, women and children are vulnerable so as far as medically speaking is concerned they are because they still have to go to hospital they still have to be exposed and all that that places them in a special position well, COVID-19 and pregnancy is um, something that is still being researched, okay, because not all full details are out concerning COVID-19 and pregnancy. Um, some studies have shown that it's actually worse in women who are pregnant. Some have shown that there is no real change. And then, of course, you know, within the Nigerian system, there are different peculiarities because even the whole COVID as a whole is not as bad as what you have abroad. So in this um, program, some of us have done some studies which they are going to showcase and will actually learn to see what is exactly going on in Nigeria concerning COVID. And that way COVID has affected is the health-seeking behavior of women. Some people are afraid to go to hospitals because they are scared they will get COVID. What is the impact of that on maternal mortality? These are things we also need to look at. During lockdown, there were lots of unwanted pregnancies. Women could not have access to family planning services. There are lots of uh, domestic violence leading to rape, assaults. There are also some mental issues, either overt or subvert, relating to the lockdown. And all these need to be brought into proper perspective and efforts that will help in addressing them, especially towards preventing future occurrence, will be a welcome development. And that is part of the main reason why we chose the theme of strengthening the healthcare of women in this COVID-19 era.